So how about this one, Marjorie? I said this in another show. I'm going to say this with you. Why do I still have this around my desk? And why do you keep hustling, even though you've been successful for a long time? Why are we still hustling? It's, uh, you know what, Steve, I'm going to answer it this way. We're not hustling. We're just very committed to our mission. And our mission is to inform, to transform, and to elevate people with knowledge, information, and education. That's why we're still doing what we're doing. And uh, until you can't do it anymore, what else are we going to do? Because that's our <laughs> mission and that's our purpose. So that's what we do. <laughs> I love that. But Marjorie, you, but, but, but you have not just simply been a very su- simply been a very successful business person, a leader in the field of construction, construction management in a field that's dominated by men, dominated by white men Mm -hmm. for a long time. But your connection to NJIT, our partners at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, Mary, she's not going to say this, but I'm going to say this. At NJIT, the Wellness and Events Center at NJIT just dedicated the Marjorie A. Perry Theater in honor of that young lady right there. Marjorie, what was that like for you? First, congratulations. Second, tell us what it was like. You know, it is, it was always a passion of mine. And Steve, as you know, I'm Newark, New Jersey girl. We didn't grow up with very much. Um, uh, And one of the things that my father was always big on, he was from Nutley, New Jersey, by the way, is education. And he says, listen, we may not have a lot of money, but education can always ensure a good life. Mm. And uh, as a result of that, I've been passionate about getting my own education over the years, as you know. Uh, And then finally, when I decided that, hey, I don't think I know enough about the numbers, I need to go back and work on my civil engineer degree, and I need to go back and work on my MBA, you know, there were lots of choices to go to. Uh, And NGIT approached me and said, listen, you could do both here, you know, because I really wanted to be not only in the space, but understand the space and control my own narrative with uh, my colleagues and my clients that I was working with, as you know you know, being black and brown in the construction space, you really have to be on your A game and sometimes your triple A game uh, in order to sit in the room or at the table. So NJIT, I selected. And uh, as a result of doing my MBA there, as a result of working on my civil engineer there, it has made me able to stay in business for 30 plus years. And um, I always said my struggle why I was there was that I didn't know if I had enough money per semester to finish. I just didn't know where the money was going to come from. And I said, you know what, what I'm going to do is set up a scholarship fund for any student that's maintaining at least a 3.0. I don't want them to worry about finishing their degree because the degree is essential for their future. This edition of Lessons in Leadership is made possible by the Bicino Leadership Institute at Seton Hall University, Prager Metis, Valley Bank, the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825, the North Ward Center, the New Jersey Sharing Network, Delta Dental of New Jersey, the Helix, Fedway Associates, Inc., Veolia, Resourcing the World, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Choose New Jersey, and Seton Hall University, showing the world what great minds can do since 1856. This is Mary Gamba. If you want more leadership tips and tools, log on to stand-deliver.com. That's stand-deliver.com. Promotional support for this edition of Lessons in Leadership with me, Steve Adubato, and my colleague, Mary Gamba, has been provided by NJ.com, NJBIA, and New Jersey Business Magazine, CIA NJ, and Commerce Magazine and Meadowlands Media, a print and digital business news network.